Where does $500 get you on a brand new Clash of Clans account? Let's find out. Firstly, I had to complete the tutorial, but once we were at Town Hall 2, I spent the first $100 loading in 14,000 gems. Then I got to work just placing all of the buildings first. Uh, maybe it is just because I am gemming everything, and traditionally when you play the game, it is more spaced out, isn't it? But I did not realize there were this many upgrades for Town Hall 2. I feel like I've been gemming non-stop, which I have, but there's just quite a few upgrades that I wasn't expecting. As we max each Town Hall level, I will have the amount of gems spent on the screen, and you may recognize the early stages from my $100 and $250 episodes, but I'm intrigued as to how far we get with 500. Town Hall 4, here we go! Why don't we collect our free gems, and we have Oh my goodness! I can't believe how many of those we completed purely from gemming my account. The early stages were going fast. I was simply placing the new buildings and upgrading them pretty cheaply, but I was already going too quick for myself. I forgot the laboratory. I haven't upgraded anything within it. Oh, this could be costly as well, and I guess in terms of maxing out Town Hall levels, I need to be doing this as well, so I apologize. I forgot about that for the first couple of levels. I really thought we would max multiple Town Halls, even with the first $100, but it was starting to become costly pretty quick. Okay, maybe I lied. I didn't realize there were this many upgrades left. Look at how quick the gems are going down now, because each upgrade is so much more expensive. There is no build boost from the gold pass to give us a discount at this level, but to give you perspective as to the progress we were making, in my Let's Play series, it only took me a little over a week to get to this point. All of the walls upgraded. One level, two levels, three levels. Isn't that glorious? Four levels! You can see from the first $100 that we've made significant progress and we still have 400 left to go. I couldn't find this little level one elixir collector. It was right there next to the gold mine that we upgraded before. And it feels so easy when you're at the bottom and it's only one gem, but it doesn't half start ramping up and we're out of gold already. As expected, the resources are going to go down pretty quickly if you're just using gems. We've now just got all of the walls. What about this little season pass? 10 gems, yes! Thank you so much, oh my word. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Oh, the irony. We don't have the gold. Should we fill? I guess we should fill the storage this way because it does give us the maximum value. And here we go. We get a bunch of other defenses. So Town Hall 6. I got to work and simply built all of the new buildings, which is what I recommend when you get to a new Town Hall level. But in this instance, it meant that we could just start the upgrades. Didn't we have level 10 gold mines before? We did. So you don't get an extra level at Town Hall 6. Interesting. I never knew that. So the lab is something you would be upgrading for a number of reasons. One, as you upgrade it, you can start the upgrades within the lab, and the lab is often where you hit a little bit of a bottleneck when all of your defenses are finished, but you're waiting of your troops in the lab to be maxed level. So you can start those upgrades quicker. We also have the Town Hall Boost, which as you can see, there is three days for this Town Hall Boost where you get the maximum level troops from your lab level. So by upgrading it, you get access to those stronger troops for at least a couple of days. After $250, just half of the amount, we were almost a maxed Town Hall 6. This gave me confidence on how far we could push this account, which to be honest, we end up getting way further than I thought. Let's go into the shop, click the C in the top right, enter code JUDO, that's a way you can support me on the channel, always much appreciated, and let's load in the next two. $250. I bought the gem packs to be $500 exactly, but in my game it's displayed as Great British Pounds. Okay, let's recap where we are. Nice trophy count for never attacking. We are way further than I thought. I want to upgrade at the recommended route that I would suggest for you. So, for example, the offense upgrades first, then splash defenses, making sure your base is equal in strength. We're out of gold already. Can we get any walls upgraded? We can't. Okay. So the storages, they're completely maxed. We can go ahead and fill the gold storage. 
and continue those upgrades. Do we get the town hall upgrading? No, let's actually finish this town hall first and we can work out exactly how many gems it cost us. As I power through some more upgrades, I want to thank you all for the support. We are pushing up that subscriber ratio and so close to our next milestone. I didn't realize the walls were this costly at this level. I mean, they're pretty cheap compared to what they used to be many years ago. 30,000 gold is not too bad when you have this many and you're gemming the entire base. It is less than ideal. We're gonna have to restock already. There we go, we can't upgrade another wall piece. Oh my gosh, the gems are going to go down fast. So good value at the lower town hall levels, but Obviously, even if you play through the game, you can upgrade those levels pretty quickly as well. Maxed Town Hall 6, and that is less than $300. We still have over $200 left to spend, and we are ready for Town Hall 7 halfway through the game and we get all of these rewards as well which you will get irrespective as to whether you complete that free season pass or not so they are items we can go ahead and use do we get the gold pass for the builder boost or not that would leave us with 200 dollars minus 20 percent we'd be saving $40. I have sat and thought about this, but it just feels wrong if we don't do it because I'm trying to give you efficiency tips. Now, we already have code judo entered, so let's go ahead and get the gold pass. I know this increases the total to $505 spent, but it just seemed like we had to do it. There is a few things we can come back to, but the first thing I always recommend is that you purchase the new buildings for your given town hall level. The main reason for this is you can cycle through these upgrades and increase the strength of your base faster. Often the lower level upgrades give you the same increase, but they're obviously quicker to upgrade as well as being cheaper. Quickly rearranged the base again, but let's go with the storages because again, you get more loot per gem in this instance when I am filling up via the gems, which I never recommend, but also you get more for your magic items. Honestly, most of the elixir upgrades are the ones I recommend early on because they tend to be your offense upgrades. Upgrading your mines, yes, they are down temporarily, but you will make those resources back because they are passive. But a little trick, they tend to be a lot cheaper than other upgrades. The gold mine is only 80,000. A lot of the other elixir upgrades were three quarters of a million. So you can save the mines for when you're not quite as active. You just need to keep the builder working. For Town Hall 7, the Dragloon is a great strategy as well as Hog Riders, so I upgraded those first. Let's chill on the Elixir upgrades for a moment and let's get our Barbarian King to level 5 because that is when he gets the ability. We just have enough Dark Elixir from the Gold Pass. I haven't had to do anything. And whilst the Book of Heroes here is not the best value, it's only 93 gems, I don't think we're going to get into Town Hall 8. So really, if we're trying to be as efficient, probably should use that. Now moving to the defenses. I already mentioned splash defenses, but at Town Hall 7, because the dragons are so powerful, it is the air defense that you want to try and upgrade. Rune of gold, let's go. Wow, we are actually upgrading super quick right now. I was starting to use a lot of the magic items that we had gained from gemming the gold pass because although I was wrong, I wasn't expecting to get much further. You will see, should have saved them. We've not got many defenses left to go at Town Hall 7, 14,000 gems. You can pretty much get in max Town Hall 7 for $400. Where does that next 100 get us? Will it max Town Hall 7? I did not think it would, but now I'm starting to think that it might. 174 walls. That might be what stops us, but let's move back across to the Elixir of upgrades for a moment and let's get the laboratory maxed out. I used my rune of dark elixir to help with this, but with the elixir storage full, we had more than enough. Let's go. <laughs> I was not expecting to max out the lab right there, but here we go. Moment of truth. How many of these walls can we do it? Can we get a maxed Town Hall 7 within five 
hundred dollars. We've got nine thousand gems, but that is it. Can we get any individual walls done? We can get one, one before we have to fill up that storage. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're going to do it. Oh my goodness. Maybe we should have saved on to the Rune of Dark Elixir. The Rune of Gold got a little bit better value. I know Clash of Clans continue to make things cheaper, but wow, this is awesome. And look, we have the wall rings as well. We should probably save on to those for the next level now that we've learned our lesson because it certainly looks like we are going to get there. This the last one. There's always one wall hides. Oh, there's actually a couple. Don't you ever get to that situation where you're like, where is that wall? No, oh, there's one. The irony. There's one piece of wall. Where is it? Okay, let's just cheat. Let's click the wall itself. Oh, it's right out to the side. There we go then. Town Hall 7 completely maxed, including the lab, with less than $500. That's actually 450 So here we go, Town Hall 8. Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting to get this far. As I've been advising then, let's build the new building so we can power through some of these and see how far we get with the $500. Oh no, the loot is going down quick. And this might be the last thing. Oh, we can't actually gem anything right now. If I were to fill up the storages, we wouldn't have enough to finish the upgrades. One of my builders is working. Let's finish it off. Okay, clan castle. Always, if you have a new clan castle, level upgrade it that is offense and defense that it will help you with for town hall 8 i tend to stick to the air defense and wizard towers the bomb tower is added at this level in my opinion it just doesn't have the same impact as a wizard tower since the bomb tower is ground only but 600 gems let's upgrade the barbarian king one more level and then what can we do i guess we should go with the let's go with the mortar Let's give that level one more to some love to upgrade it. Maybe we can go with some of the cheaper upgrades since I normally recommend that anyway. Oh, can we get anything else? We can't! We can't even upgrade our storages by 10%. So there we are. I think that's pretty good. It took us around about 10 weeks in the Let's Play series to get to this level. If you do want to see that Let's Play series, I have linked the playlist on your screen with the subscribe button. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.